Hey guys, so this is the Akinaki record cleaning machine. Akinaki? Okinoki? Akinaki. So what it does is it vacuums with, with liquid all of the dust and debris or junk that you have on your vinyls. Cleans them up really nice and we're going to show you how that works. First, when you get the machine, you'll notice it has an acrylic lid. I can see you. You remove that and then you'll see there's a platter here. On the, the machine itself is actually metal. There's a metal casing that runs around a tub that's uh, inside. And it comes with some implements that you're going to need to be able to clean the record. One of those is the manual. I, I suggest that you look at this and you can see if you go down through it, it'll have English as the second one. And it tells you what to do and all of the implements that, that it comes with. So the second thing is it is a powered machine, meaning we're going to plug this thing in. Really nice heavy power cord. This plugs into the back of the machine and you will take that and plug that into a receptacle. The next thing we're going to do is put in the vacuum itself. Now this one is used for 12 inch records. It slides into the port here and you can just set it in there for now. The third thing we're going to look at is this is an all aluminum uh, tie down for the record itself and we'll show you how that works. The third, the fifth, fourth thing, <laughs> was it third, fourth, fifth? The, the, the other piece is this uh, goat hairs brush which is one of the better brushes to use to clean uh, vinyl record grooves so that comes with it and then of course your solution now the solution is a four to one mix so this four ounces will actually mix almost a half a gallon of liquid for you so you you can clean a lot of records with just this little bottle so what we do to be able to demonstrate how this works is we're going to use Capitol's first release of the Beatles called Meet the Beatles. This is an original copy and if we take the record out of the sleeve I don't know if you can see how dirty this record is but it's got fingerprint smudges, dust, debris uh, pretty much all over it. So what you do is you take the record you set it on the Akinaki platter you take the aluminum tie down. This is a screwed system, so you just screw it on. And hold the platter itself, tighten it up. And then that way the record doesn't move. Next what we do is in the back there is a power switch. We turn that on. And then we go up front and the top switch is, is a toggle switch that will either turn the record right or left. We're going to start out with turning it left clockwise. Next, when you have your solution mixed up, you can put it in a spray bottle. You can use the bottle that came with it and store the other liquid for later use. But we use a little spray bottle. And what you do is you simply spray the entire disc and while that is spinning you take your goat hair brush and lay it flat on the vinyl so it's cleaning the vinyl as it moves and then you let it go around a couple of times get it nice and clean and then you take your vacuum itself turn it towards the platter the bottom toggle switch will turn the vacuum on and this is how it works. Now you let that go around a couple of times, pop up the vacuum and turn it to the side. Now your top toggle switch, you want to stop the record and go the other way with it. Again, you know, being pretty lib liberal with the cleaning solution and then with your goat hair brush again we lay it flat on the vinyl moving it in and out to so we cover all of the grooves 
and make sure you go around a couple of times each time you do this. We remove that. Again, we turn the vacuum into place. Turn it on. Make sure you get a couple of good rotations so it dries the vinyl itself. And then we remove the vacuum. We turn the machine off. Remove the tie down. And voila, that's how your record looks now. So if you can see, this side was cleaned, this side wasn't. So that's how you use the Akinaki record cleaning machine. So the other thing that I wanted to tell you about this is when the basin gets full on the inside, there's a tube in the back that is already connected. Comes with a little plug, and that's all you have to do is pull it out lift the machine up a little bit and it will drain completely and you're back to cleaning records in no time. Hey guys, just to be clear, this is a record cleaning machine. The Akinaki cleans records, it doesn't repair them. So if you have scratches, holes, uh, you know, warped, if they have smudges on them, this don't do that. This cleans deep groove cleaning for your vinyl. And if you want to know how to store that vinyl, check out some of our other videos. We'll show you how to correctly store that vinyl so they don't get damaged, that kind of thing. All right, guys, so this is a pretty pricey machine. We do have them here, but, you know, for $500 for the machine and $50 for the acrylic lid, it's 550 bucks. So who is it for? This machine is for people who are, are in love with vinyl and want to keep their vinyl super clean or have a huge collection and they haven't played it in a while and they want to clean every piece that they have or they just got a donation from mom, dad, you know, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, whatever, and now they got, you know, 1,200 records sitting in front of them. This would be the machine to get. Alright guys, that's it for this review on the Akinaki record cleaning machine. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you have something to add. And don't forget to subscribe to see our other videos. My name is Rich from Squeezebox Records and remember, stay vinyl.